tragic end to 2013 for one North Idaho family. They have not released her name, but the, we know the woman who died in a Priest Lake house fire last night was simply spending a quiet night at home. These are pictures from last night, and you can see the home is fully engulfed in flames. The home sits on the same property as McDonald Logging Company, several miles south of Priest Lake. KXLY 4's Erin Luna has more from Bonner County. The call came in about 6 p.m. Three volunteer firefighting departments showed up when they did. The house was fully engulfed. They did their best to try to put out the flames while defending two structures, the office to the left and a substation on the other side. As of right now, there is one confirmed fatality. The husband and wife who lived on the property were doing everyday things when the fire broke out. She was doing laundry. He was in the workshop. His signal to come in the house was when the lights go out in the office upstairs. He knows it's time to go in for dinner, so he saw the lights go out, came out, and was approached by a, a passing motorist who said, hey, your house is on fire. And the house had been upgraded throughout the years, and the McDonald Logging Company business office was built just off the main home. They've been married for 50 years, and they've lived up here for a large percentage of the time. Three volunteer fire departments responded to the call, searching the office for people on arrival. By the time uh, our deputies responded, the place was fully engulfed and falling in on itself. But the home was too far gone to go inside. Crews tried to contain the blaze and save what they could of the surrounding structures. Substation right on the other side of that fence behind me, and, and if that would have went, the uh, power supply for the entire Priest Lake, uh, this side of the Priest Lake would have been out for uh, quite some time. Last night, the woman inside the home was said to be missing. This morning, first responders recovered her body from the rubble. There's a lot of different uh, cause, possible causes, and with the house falling in on itself, you know, determining an origin is going to be uh, really, really difficult as well. But the medical examiner will now release the identification of the person killed in the blaze. Reporting in Bonner County, Aaron Luna, KXOY4 News.